yeah, we lost all of it. Like we lost 90% of revenue in one day. I think it was March 16th. It was it, funny enough. It was actually a harvest day. So that was, was really funny about it. We, everything was really harvested and we started getting, you know, a phone call and then an email and we had like, we lost like 12 within about an hour. And then they stopped. We're like, Hmm. And then it just, I think it was 3 PM. The whole, like we went from 120 restaurants down to three in a day, like just gone. And that was because remember Alberta obviously just shut down completely. Right. So it was hundred to zero overnight. Now, luckily we had a lot of retail customers and grocery stores, but it was just a matter of just pivoting. We still had food. We had to get out and we were very straightforward about guys. We have no restaurants we have no revenue. Can you help us? And we just put it out to our community and they rallied and we repackaged, you know, 300 pounds of microgreens overnight into small containers, got it out the door. And we met like probably 200 new families. So I'll try it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. We, I did a three for $10 deal. We even dropped our price. I didn't even charge a normal price. So we just wanted to get out the door. We met yeah. so many people that way. And then from there, we just cultivated, well, we have no restaurants, so what do we do? And that's where it goes back to micros to mouse. How do you get it to people? So there's a lot of contests, a lot of giveaways. And we, we re, rebuilt it, really, because we were, I think we were closed up here, what, three, four months fully, right? I think that was from yeah. March, basically, to May-ish. We had zero restaurants. Well, not zero. I think we had three. No, I can't remember. Anyway, we, yeah, we went, and then even then, it was like takeout, right? So we had no, very little revenue on our primary revenue stream for almost six months but we had to rebuild it. But the key for us was this turnaround. Every 10 days, we had new crops, right? So when we lost everything, we didn't have two months worth of product on the shelf. We had one more around. And then we just pivoted to growing more. There was you know, more direct towards the retail versus the commercial sector. So it was, it was, it was fun. We learned a lot. And uh, yeah, we had our best year ever. Like we, we ran our numbers end of January is our financial year and it was our best revenue year ever. So it worked. It was unique for sure, to say the least. But... <laughs> And we met a lot of people, like we met a lot of people through consulting too, and just like helping because a lot of people went through this. And I saw a lot of farmers say, well, we only have farmers markets or we only have restaurants and they're gone. So we're gone. And that's what I think we were able to push through from the get go. It's like an investment portfolio. You diversify. You never want everything in one area. And that's where that really saved us because we did. Well, it's almost impossible to retail market that fast. It took us two years before to do that. And then we were able to hedge off that when we uh, lost everything else.